Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we have our very special, special guest, Lynn. <laughs> Hello. And, you know, Dawn on the computer, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> You're supposed to say... I was saying that Hello. Jeez. <laughs> Slight delay. Wow. <laughs> I know. Wow. We were just talking about burping, so we've got a little bit of the giggles. Um, you know. Yes, this is what we did last week, and it took forever because I made this using PE Design um, 11, and at each end, it stopped and it trimmed and each beginning one and it was very painful and I couldn't figure out how to fix it other than manually attaching all these. I didn't feel like it because that would take me a long time. <laughs> so if you're doing this uh, in PE Design 10 or 11, just make sure you watch for that. So we're gonna do the zombie today and I have a very special quilting stitch to show and to test on the zombie. I think it's going to be pretty good. Now we're getting Lynn set up with her machine. I think we're going to try to start. We ha we've got to figure out the the time because Lynn works so we don't want it. We can't really do a learn with Lynn without you know <laughs> Lynn. <laughs> so and it can't be too late because I get so tired. Um, but we'll do the best we can on that. So we're going to start that next week. We're thinking uh, Tuesday, I said, right? Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday. What did we say? Five-ish? Five, six-ish? Five, I'm just breaking things. Uh, Pick it up. Uh, no, you took a big handful. <laughs> Jeez, was that a good wine? Yeah, worked for me. So that's what we're planning, and we're going to start right from the beginning with Lynn. We're going to spend an hour once a week until she's up and stitching so for beginner beginners that are just beginning it'll be a really good set yes it will so learn with lynn a newbie's guide to embroidery there we go something like that anyways we're gonna have fun with doing it <laughs> tracy says i look forward to learning with lynn so i can learn too oh yeah we're gonna start right at the beginning i'm gonna explain to her because she doesn't know i'm gonna explain to her the um stabilizers and what they do and how they work and when you need to use them we're gonna look at our embroiderer's compass and thread i'm going to give her high-end threads so because it's hard to get here in canada and from threading your machine to starting and what you should start with uh and hooping you gotta learn how to hoop yes hoop 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 so i better find the on and off button first yeah <laughs> it's a switch usually <laughs> lit just so you know it's a switch okay. so um we're ready to do our second jeepers creepers now this did take forever to stitch out but it's really beautiful really beautiful stitches and detail work and i love the scraps that i was able to use julie pura is here hello as don would say hello um we've switched from red hots to uh, Halloween candy just for a little bit. These are like big piles of sugar that look pretty. <laughs> it's like, whew, your head gets a spin in if you have one of those. <laughs> so welcome, everybody. We're going to get going on this. I'm excited for you guys to see. Um, what does candy corn taste like? Sugar. 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 Pure sugar. Just <laughs> sugar. There's no real like candy corn flavor. It's just, it's Sugar. Putting a sugar cube in your mouth. Yeah, pretty much, except for it's smoother than that. See, you just break it apart. Just sugar. Mm -hmm. I don't think they taste like anything. No. Nope. Like vanilla, maybe? Yeah. They're very rich. No, they're sugar, Don. High fructose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We eat them. I have no idea why, but anyway, so next week, Dime Door released on Thursday. Be there, be square. Saturday, we're going to stitch it. And Sunday, we're going to finish the last O on the sweet pea. 
bamboo design. And then we're going to do something else from this ready, set, stitch. So nice. that's our schedule. I'll have everything up for you guys. Can you say happy early birthday to my aunt, Judy? Hi, Aunt Judy. <laughs> She's in the stream today. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Judy. We sure can. I hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for joining us. That's awesome. Need red hots and peanuts with the candy corn. <laughs> well, I won't be able to talk if I eat so no. much candy all the time, right? Look, everyone's saying happy birthday to Aunt Judy. Look at everyone. We have the best group. Awesome group. Not um not Sue's aunt. Not it Susan. is uh Misha's aunt. Misha's aunt. Happy birthday, Judy. Look at that. Look at them all. Ask and you shall receive. Yes. So let's get started stitching. Let's go over to McDreamy. Lynn is on applique, although there's not a whole lot of applique, but we're gonna chat in the meantime. Yes. So Don, can you Switch over. Dreamy's up. All right. So, got to be able to see my eyeballs Google there. Eyes. And my girlfriend, Mary, has asked me to say hello to her today. So hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hello. Yeah. Hello. She, hello. It's just proof of existence on an <laughs> embroidery yeah, program, right? Yeah, I'll be doing the video. No, you won't. Come on. Apparently, we're on the, the big screen TV as well. Yes. So... This is a block, I hooped it. It's exactly the same as the Scarecrow one. I hooped it because I forgot to create the squares around it for placement. I'll um, trim it afterwards. Here's Bjorn, I'll put him on his Velcro because he gets kind of squishy around. And I'm learning uh, a little bit more here and there about making cool quilting stitches. Now this one I purchased and it is from OESD and it's awesome. It's awesome. So we're going to start with that. And again, this is the, the same thing just because I added to it and forgot something. So it's my fabric and it's the batting. And then I have the mesh stabilizer. So I'll hoop nicely. Lynn didn't iron Oh, I'm sorry. I'm excited to see how this turns out. So this is from OESD, and the best way to learn how to do something is to, you know, watch it stitch. So I think it's going to be cool. No gremlins. I don't know if it's going to take forever. See, this was kind of strange because McDreamy usually starts in the top left corner. And today he started in the top right. Yeah, it's a motif stitch. Um, normally what we do is placement. Yes. And then tack down. Yep. But I didn't do that and I had saved it already on McDreamy. So I thought, well, I'll just wing it. I didn't realize these were back stitches though it may take too long but can you guys guess what they are yet because it's cool you can only see part of it Lynn you can see the whole thing I can see the whole thing if it's taking too long I'll just fast forward because I thought they were single stitches but it's going over them bean stitch maybe oh see they know what they are the, yeah. <laughs> snails? Who said snails? You can't fool the group. <laughs> snails. No. No, no. Please take a moment and hit the like button. Yes, please. We're making progress with the channel. You guys did a good job after I asked you to. Things are looking up. I'm all in the green. So it's awesome. What was the name of the layer cake used for the Boo and the Scarecrow? Um, well, it's from Blueprint. All the fabric, most of the fabric that I have is from Blueprint. So you're hard pressed to find it. This beautiful. I, I wish I had like a whole house full of this stuff in the different colors or even this color is also from Blueprint. So Well, I will look on Friday. Yeah, Lynn's going to go fabric shopping so she has something to work with. Um, we'll just let this do one whole row. There isn't a whole lot because the um, 
zombie dude takes up most of it. So it's a single line design. I am going to go back in and change it to just regular running stitch. I looked at it and I didn't think it was the back stitch because I want the quilting design to fit, fit like fade to the back, right. fit in better sort of thing. Okay. That's why. But we'll let maybe a couple of them stitch out. What do you guys think? Is that opposite? Awesome. I love it. This is what I want to learn how to do so that we can have really, really cool background stitching out. I mean, it's nice. I think it's beautiful, especially on this fabric. What? It's pretty awesome. Yes. Yeah, I just didn't realize it was like a triple stitch or back stitch. Oh, Scully dude. He's a little squished, that one. Oh, but that's okay. And ah. I did what I showed everyone how to do. Um, I took the skull of the... I guess it's not really a skull. It's a zombie. <laughs> so the zombie is all outlined. So... Yes! Judy Quilt, yes! It is literally one of my favorite things to do. There's a couple of classes on it, like, so I was doing the letter A, and the motif stitch inside it is A. And it's really cool, uh, big A, little A. Nice. Yeah, you can do your own motif stitches. There's a couple of embered videos on it that are really good. And I think hatch ones. So even if you don't have that software, and Judy Quilt, I know you have in Brilliance, which is awesome. Um, you could still do it. I haven't actually done any in Brilliance, so I might be checking that out. So yeah, it's one of my favorite things to do. Gail, thank you. Thank you for the AccuQuilt class. I hope you do more. Mine should be here tomorrow i'm so excited Ooh, oh nice my cutter is acute quilts um congratulations and you will love it um acute quilt is one of the things i love most and it's a lot of fun and in brilliance has all the shape not all uh, they have a good portion of the shapes as an add-on so it's kind of cool you can just do it in in brilliance so yeah it's I do more. A lot of people got mad at me because they said, oh, it's $200 and it's too expensive. I'm like, okay, well, don't then. But you pre-cut everything. Use a cutter or use an AccuQuilt. So it's awesome. Gail says, I love making motifs in Hatch. It's very easy. Yeah, you just have to design them in a certain way. So you don't, you don't want jump stitches like for sure in these it has to be smooth and you can change the size of them you can you know offset them there's so many things to do basically you can take one simple motif and like say a circle and then you overlap them it looks different okay or you can move one up you can move them down nice. so sky's the limit um i love creating them i really really have uh, a fun time doing it. It's good. I have a baby Accu quilt. Shannon says, "Yep, works the same as the bigger one." Um, they're awesome. You can get ones. I have the electric one because I don't know if I'm lazy or not, but <laughs> I was making a whole <laughs> bunch of masks, and I'm like, "Oh yes." And circles for mug rugs. Yes. I have a big, huge die, and eight inch circles and you just put your fabric in send it through and you have pre-cut oh. mug rug pieces yeah oh okay and triangles and shapes yep. and everything so we have 118 people watching Ooh, is everyone ready for the dime door are you ready for I'm, the dime I, door it's saturday um she reveals it eileen roche reveals it on uh, Thursday. Okay. I think when you're at work, so I'll send you a picture. I'll send you a picture of it. I, I usually watch it because that was the one that I was on when she revealed the September door. It was so exciting. It was so exciting. That's a dream of a lifetime. I know. I know. 
She's very nice too, by the way. She's very, very nice. Frida Smith is new to the channel and what we're doing. And is asking what you have hooped in the machine with the bag and stuff. Okay, so what I have hooped now, I, I did the the actual design is just a design. I added this stuff to my for myself because it's gonna match with this guy, if you see here, the lines almost exactly match, just with a different quilting background. So I do have warm and natural batting here. I don't know how well you guys can see it till it moves over. And this is my fabric. It's a 10 by 10 piece of fabric. And then I have some no-show mesh stabilizer, which is lovely, lovely, lovely for quilts. It's nice and soft and thin and strong as well. Ronog says, Dime Door. Yes, I know. It's been so much fun doing the Dime Doors. Where can one find the extravaganza? I don't know what we're talking about. Costs about, are we talking about the AccuQuilt? I think the AccuQuilt is worth it. I love it. I don't use it every single day, mind you, but I do keep it in mind for a whole bunch of things. It's just nice. What I'm working on is like piecing the quilt top and then quilting on my embroidery machine with the um, magnetic hoops. So, okay, I'm liking this design. It, again, it's taken a bit longer than I thought. I hope we don't spend too much time on it. I have it in black. Oh, we're almost done yeah. there. You can see where we are. And the whole thing takes 44 minutes, so maybe we'll hurry it up. Because I want to see my zombie dude take place, because he's cool. He's even got scary eyes. He's got very scary eyes. Very scary eyes. Oh! <gasps> Oh no, you don't know what the dime door is? Oh my god. Dime is disease disease? Design? Wow. Design and machine embroidery. Eileen Roche. It's a DZGNS.com. Head over there and she has created a door wall hanging, just a little six by ten sort of thing. Um if one for every month and they're stunning and we do a sew along with it every time they come out and it's awesome it, it's so last month's with the gnome oh, and the thick tree oh i loved it <laughs> yes our addiction to embroidery is a disease welcome to my disease yep, lynn yep. she's prepared she knows oh, yes said embroidery isn't sh cheap but it sure is fun that's for sure. I'm, sh I'm sure I'll get frustrated at the beginning, but... Well, the rules are when you get frustrated, walk away. It's taken me a lot of years to come up to that conclusion. If you don't walk away, you're going to sew your face or sew your finger or do yep. something stupid. So if something's not going your way, walk away. I do it. And stay calm. That's the other thing. Stay calm. When my beloved Mc dreamy had problems we just kept rolling live is live right and I just stay calm mm -hmm. I love it a lot of new people all right so I'm gonna say other than it's doing a back stitch and I didn't really think it was a back stitch I think that adds a lot to a lot of character yeah a lot of character oh. It's like a bag of bones. Kind of is, yeah. Bag of bones. All right, so we got to do some hair. This is an old zombie, so my old zombie is going to have white hair. So these are satin stitches that are going to go. I'm doing lime green for the zombie. And what else? Red for the eyes. A little bit of black. Oh. So, yeah. See, I didn't think that that was, I didn't see that for hair. I saw above, like, above his left eye. Oh. Up at the top. 
Oh, that's brain. Oh, see, I thought that brain. was his hair. No, 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 it's brain. It's oh, brain. So we get to look at brain matter. Well, in a zombie kind of way. True. You know, yeah. What color should the brain be? Gray? They say yeah. gray matter. I was, I was... Hot what? pink? I was gonna say purple. <laughs> a purple brain? <laughs> Lynn! <laughs> Lynn's got a long way to go. Uh, uh, walk by Faith, this is my first time here. Well, welcome. We have a lot of fun. We have tons of fun. Oh, tons of fun. And we learn embroidery, and we learn as much as we can, but we still have a good time. You know what? Nobody reminded me. Oh, wait. Misha says, what does a vegan zombie say? Well, we lost. I think I lost my game of chicken. Yeah, that's uh, that's a problem. I was, just, uh... I was just opening my mouth to say nobody reminded me to check my bobbin and look it's almost empty so bobbin chicken fail today but i wasn't intending on playing chicken so maybe maybe what are you laughing at over there what does a vegan zombie say yeah what does a vegan do zombie say grains <laughs> <laughs> i hope sam heard that that's pretty good well, vegan. Good. I didn't know there was such a thing as a vegan zombie. But yeah, it makes sense. So I think we had a little thread shred there. So I'm going to cut off a little bit of it because thread shreds usually go way back. So we don't want damaged thread. I put in a fresh bobbin. McDreamy says bring it. And I'm going to remember to thread it. And also, I'm going to remember to put my hoop back in. And the thingy down. Now, do we back up? Uh, yes. You want to back up. Not a whole lot on this one. Um, I usually back up 20, you're safe. So otherwise, you'll have a gap. Okay. And we don't want a gap in it. And it's almost impossible to fix the gap um, so yeah. you have to remember okay. to do it so if you look here say for example and you say oh no there's a gap you can still rewind it right at okay. this point but when the whole thing's done and you've unhooped it oh that's a negative that's a negative but at, but at the end if you take it out and put it on your desk you can still when you look it over you can still go back um, the chances of you hooping it exactly precisely the same are zero. Okay. And a little gap in his hair for something like this, I would not worry about it because, you know, he's dead. So if he has a little gap in his hair, yeah, you can't be too picky. Too picky, because if you're looking at it from the distance that yours at, mm -hmm. you wouldn't see any gap. No. Um, I even do that when I digitize. Um, I stand back, like I zoom out and see how it looks, okay. because nobody's looking at the embroidery like this, no, right? No. Nobody is. You are, but nobody is. Karina, I raise. <laughs> Oh, we're going to have a bidding war? Ronog, thank you. <laughs> what? They do every time. They did yesterday, too. I miss all the fun. Is this the AG design, or did you say OESD? The answer is yes. So this, the zombie, is Anita Good Design Jeepers Creepers. And the background quilting that I added, now mind you, when I added it, I didn't change jeepers creepers at all because it's a stitch file the background quilting of the skulls and crossbones is from oesd so yes yes and yes so okay lovely satin stitches those lovely. are my favorite stitches because they cover up boo-boos <laughs> you know applique left right and center don't you lynn i do so there's a couple kinds of satin stitches that you can do. So you can do satin stitches that are the same width all the way down. 
which is generally what you're going to use for applique. Okay. Or you can change the width. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know that. See, the width changes in here, and they become long. Oh, I figured just a satin stitch is a satin stitch. Nope. You can do lots of things with it. And if you can see here, this is narrow at the bottom. Right. And this is thicker at top. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. These ones are a little more difficult to do, but not impossible. They, they add something to it when you can change it, so... One up, Lee's Cranley. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. What are they auctioning for? Me? Little yep. old me? Yep. yep. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. McDreamy comes with me, though, wherever I go. Yes. In my office. And my Dash Hound. Yes. I'm good after that. Okay. Oh, and all my Anita Good Design designs to give away. Oh. oh. So can I sneak those out of the house? No. <laughs> no. I'll trade you. I need a good oh, design. For design. The, for the chair? <laughs> How did you know? How did you know, Lynn? That was awesome. Oh my god, so funny. Lynn has a new chair in her house and it's kind of a it's a recliner, a power recliner, so of course, I have a great time playing with the power <laughs> recliner, but it's smaller than usual reclining chairs, and yep. it kind of fits little me, and I love it, and I try to steal it every time we go to Lynn's house. It fits our butts nicely. It does, yeah, it does. Uh, I always take a pin and draw around my hooped item in case something gets unhooped. I don't use pins. McDreamy would go on strike if I used pins. Nice try, Lynn. <laughs> In capital letters. That's that? awesome. I know. We have fun. It's Sunday, kind of, you know, just before Sunday dinner, and we're just chilling. When we do the green parts, I'll switch over to the desk, and we can go through some more Anita Good Design designs that I have. Okay. So the ones in the shelf here, Lynn, are for giveaways. Okay. Yep, for giveaways. So did we The ever, Norseman, yay, hello. Did we ever figure out what color brains we're going to do? I think they should be green. I think they should compliment him <laughs> and be green. Hopefully this stitch, hopefully my background stitching doesn't take up too much of the time. They've, the videos have been long. Long, long, long. Yeah. Which is okay. I don't mind however length of time it takes. I wonder how long the landscape one. Ooh. My goodness, that's beautiful. Maybe it I'll get is. that book and we can pick what we're going to do next. Can you run upstairs and get that for me, Don, please? Okay, the Ready, Set, Sew. Uh, yeah. I need a good design. So... Brains? What color? You know, I didn't pull an applique piece for his mouth. So that's it for white. We're good for white. And I'm just going to put in green. Yeah. I think the green. People are mentioning green. Yeah, I think green will be good. Kind of like a spoiled You know, green. and then I got to thinking when I did ask the group what my first project should be, and, and just about everybody said mug rug mug yeah. rug and then i thought well now that i'm seeing Thanks. all these beautiful landscape and i'm thinking do i want to start off with something small or just go right to the challenge um you can do either because i'm right here so <laughs> you can you can do either if you want to just jump in i say by watching the videos and taking part in the videos that hold on uh, it just yeah, sounded, sounded weird. kind of funky there for a split second. Uh, I think he was going over the satin stitches. Yeah, I'm always listening yep. to McDreamy. I still haven't seen the new animals group from the new animals. I don't know. She's going to show more Anita Good Design designs. Yeah. Where did you find a smaller recliner? It's not kid size. It's I would say it's medium. Because usually when I sit on the chair, I'm kind of like lacking in tallness a little bit, slightly. 
um, my feet don't touch the ground, and this one they do, and that's really nice. It's from uh, Leon's, Leon's, right? Leon's. Leon's, <laughs> which is probably a Canadian company. I'm going to say yes on probably. that. Probably. Ooh, that does sound. That is is trying to stitch over. Oh, we're gonna do his mouth. We're gonna do his mouth now. What uh, what are we gonna do on his mouth? This is applique Lynn will be up. Oh. How about this? Ooh. Or is that crazy? Uh-uh. Oh, no, no, no. He does sound a little strange. It's only a little piece. I am going to go out on a limb here. You have your applique scissors, my dear? I do. I do, I do, I do. Ready? Boom. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> the first piece I picked around. <laughs> Listen to you What's giggle. His, His mouth. mouth. <laughs> wow. wow, Don says. Well then. He does sound funny. I don't know. I'm going to look while you're trimming there, Lynn. He doesn't sound quite it's right. Al it's almost sound like he's, he's bouncing on the stitches so many times. It's kind of weird. There's nothing underneath it. Dawn back to the desk so Lynn can do the trimming. Okay. Okay, here we go. And I'm just checking the bobbin. Maybe I need a new needle, which, in which case I'll do that afterwards. So Lynn, the trim. <laughs> yes, I have a Leon's nearby. It's a black rec power recliner, which is awesome. Yes. <laughs> That's the size I need. I'm only five feet. Oh, Gail, you're a bit shorter than we are, but we're we're small. We're small, short. I'm five two, or if I sit up straight, five three. I'm five two. Yeah, that's okay. Lynn, do you have your craft room started up yet? <laughs> I think her craft room is going to be her living room. Yes. Isn't it? Or I can um, maneuver my son's man cave. I think you should appropriate that man cave. I could, I could live in that with all my stuff. Thank you very much. Back to McDreamy, Don. Now, I was going to make the zombies' teeth white, oh. but if I do that, it's not going to show up on this very loud yes. and obnoxious so print. So we're going to spin the cart around and around and around <laughs> and close our eyes and pick. Okay, I picked. <laughs> well, he's like a heck of a zombie. I picked a very bright yellow because we're doing that. You never know. This might look really good as the inside of his mouth. Maybe. It's looking like it might. It, it, you know, it was just a scrap I had because I forgot to pull black fabric. So now we're going to do his teeth and this is like a yucky zombie. Not that there's any nice zombies. Ones. Yeah. So nice yellow teeth. Oh, it looks good. Oh, <laughs> you know, do you know what I was thinking now? Is that maybe his teeth should have been red for eating everybody in sight no he's a vegan oh that's right yeah remember he's a vegan yes so he's got yellow yes teeth, i guess i don't know i just have to tell you my 11 year old stepdaughter is officially taller than you and lynn i know so are my kids by mm. the way <laughs> i like to be over at grandma and Aunt. yeah so are my kids my kids are actually Ooh, did you hear that I sound i do now that's okay. Yes. Long satin stitches. Oh yeah, because it's long. Yeah. And they probably can't go any longer than that. Now there's a problem with long satin stitches. Um, you don't get great coverage on it. And you'll see. I'll there's a longer gap. Yep. Um, it's fine for this sort of thing, but if you have long satin stitches, I'll show you when we're back at the desk that it um uh, they get caught they get pulled they get wrecked that sort of thing my daughter is yeah. 
<laughs> 12 years old already. She would be really tall. Yeah, both of my kids are really tall, and they were bigger than me. I just made sure I kicked their butt while they were shorter yeah, than me. Yeah, that's what I say to my son. He's uh, six foot one. Yeah, I was going to say, he's he, really yeah, tall. he looks down at me. Oh. Well, you're still the boss, though. So. Oh, yes. So, good enough. This is why I keep my little trolley here loaded up with goodies, in case you were ever wondering, Lynn. In case I forget to... to Almost everything I does, need for a live. Does Lynn need a trolley? <laughs> I have a coffee table that lifts up. So do it's we. Not but... a trolley, though. Oh. All right. So I kind of like that. Yes. It may be a little weird, but um, I kind of like but it. But I think once it all comes together, I think it'll be okay. You know, different. Nobody says it has to be black or white no. or pink or something. No. He could have eaten a checkered person yeah, or I don't, something. I don't, I don't know if the white would have showed up good. If it was no, it wouldn't have. If it was totally on the black, it would have. Yeah, but it's not. And I thought the chances of that are pretty slim. So, what is today's AG offer? I left the room and miss it. We're not doing a giveaway today. We are working on some kind of giveaway. Don, can you... Do you picture in picture? Tell me when we're ready. Okay. <laughs> we have a slight delay. So for all the new people, this is Ready, Set, Stow, Sew. And it's a starter kit. You can get it on Anita Good Designs. Or you can get the designs separately. And what we want to start next, it, it explains how to do everything. I'll lend you this book, Lynn. Um, this is what we want to do next. Landscape silhouettes. And it, I oh, could hear oh. that too. Big dreamy. Um, I think it'll be a lot of fun to do. This is a, a design set that I've always wanted to do. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to have to figure out fabric for it. But this will be our Sunday project after next week that we'll be working on. And all excited. I know it's stunning. So look at the detail work in here. It's nice. Hopefully there's not too much of a reflection. I was in a tunnel. You're cutting out a bit. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Judy Quilt says I've always wanted to do it too. Yeah, I'm. This is the finished. Oh wow! <gasps> and what I never noticed, I've looked at this so many times. I got to watch the picture in picture here. I've looked at this so many times, and I didn't realize the colors of the background mm -hmm. are changing. So from night to day day oh, tonight yeah yep. I noticed it looking at it up close and I really can't tell you which ones I like the best I mean the yellow here is gorgeous but sunset I don't know I like the pinks you like the pinks I on like it the, I like the pinks it catches your attention yep. but now if you were doing this would you follow these colors or think outside of Sue's box? I don't know. I think I might if I can, because I don't have, you know, tons and tons of fabric. I think I would stick close to probably this one. So red, orange, lighter orange, and yellow, because I really, really like those colors. I don't know what else I could do. I'd have to, after I stitch one out. So the sizes, nine by 14, so that's pretty big. Eight by 12, seven by 12, six by 10, and five by seven. So Yay! you could do it too, Lynn. And basically, you're just putting in the strips of color, so applique, He's banging around yeah, a lot today. He's doing a lot of something. Applique, and you keep it going, and then all of the magic happens when you put 
you know, running stitches and then the design. So it's nice. The designs are all one color. I probably wouldn't use pure black. I'd use like a, right. a kind of like a really dark charcoal. Okay, now I have a question for you. Yes, ma'am. When you're doing the applique, mm -hmm. um, do you have to trim the bottom or can you just leave it because it's being covered up by the next one? Um, I'm going to suggest as a rule to trim it because you remember what happened when I didn't trim it. Remember, it got all that could happen too. Okay. And a lot of times, if you notice, it's going from light to dark, yes. that it may show through, depending on your fabric. Some fabric is yep. thin, and it's better if it doesn't show through. So I would say trim everything. Now, one thing when you do this, see, they're going to cut the bottom. Can we see that? Okay, yeah. Cut the bottom, and you got to leave. I would say a little more seam allowance than that. They kind of shorted you there. And you trim it. And then the second one is a little bit above this line. So you don't have to be like super meticulous about right. it. It's just like a stitch and go. And it'll be covered up. So if you do a messy okay. job. But I always say, you know, trim, take your time. It adds to the final product so yeah the the threads have to be coordinated although that might look cool with the stitches going through see the yellow and the green i i find that enjoyable it's soothing yeah but the pink mm. i mean pink yep the pink and the purple yeah i wonder how hard it would be if you look at their fabric it's kind of have some different colors in it and that makes it extra special too how about batiks just his mouth oh yeah i know i, I was watching what he's doing and i'm like wait a minute we didn't put down anything for his head it goes with the style of the the whole design set ah, okay. yeah uh, Sue did that just for me so I didn't have to do so much trimming. Oh, is that <laughs> no, no, that's wrong. No. I would have made you do a whole lot more trimming. Oh, I tried to get out of it. I used reds and yellows. All right, I just need this here. Just take the hands off of it. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm right here. This is what I was thinking of, Lynn. These are batiks oh, I believe oh. Sandy sent them to me Beautiful. see what I'm getting at these were sitting out on my desk because I was thinking about it oh. see and that one is a little yep, bit darker. A little darker so maybe up there what do you guys think I don't know if I'd have enough to go all the way through but I might be able to make it from like a single table runner from night to day or day to night yep. whatever isn't that something That's so gorgeous. i'm gonna go through everything and see, see that yep <laughs> i need to pick that oh yeah look at this Ooh. so i'm saying batiks would be you know easy to do easy ish to do and they don't have to be all exactly the same uh, i i'm very thankful that i have a little stash of batiks to yes. play with i'm telling you because it's hard to get. But look, they're all earthy colors. So yes. this would make it look really cool that it's a brown in it as oh, well. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, I think it would add to it. I thought maybe it. somebody spilled something on no. it. <laughs> wow. No. Wow. What do I know? No. <laughs> no. <gasps> Green is challenging you. She says it's way too busy. Uh, for which one? Some of these? Yeah, some of them are too busy. I love this, but I wouldn't use that. But look at that. Ooh. For the bright yellows. Yes. Yep, yep. I don't think it would take away from anything because I don't think that there's a whole lot of stitching over the fabric. So, but look, I have all sorts of shades of it. I think it would be, look at this. Oh. I've. I've used this on a dime door. Have you really? Yep. Oh, no way. Yep. Oh, wow. 
for the sky. Like it was a magical this. sky. Cool. I do things my own way. That's Sue's box. Yep. Um, this has every color in it. Yep. You know what? It might be worth trying. I think I can play around with it and Ooh, see. That, one, wow. that looks like a storm yep. sort of thing. Yep. See, that has, I think, I like it. It has too Fizzy. much in it. Fizzy. Yes. Yep. This looks like Picasso. No. What is it? No. Don, what is it? Not Picasso. Uh, I can't think of it. Um, I can't oh, come on. Um, you gotta bail me out. I can't. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Look at this. Yep. That would add With to it. Flying. Look, and there's some browns. Now this one has a bit of a design on it. Look at this. Oh. Van Gogh. Van Gogh, yes. And I thank didn't you. Tell you it was Susan Weehy. Oh, thank you, Susan Weehy. You knew what I meant. I have a TARDIS Van Gogh. That one would go with the yellow one back down here. Yep. So this is what I was thinking I was going to do because, thankfully, I have a little stash of stuff. Look at this one. Ooh. That is almost exactly the colors. Yep. So I'm thinking about doing it like that. I have lots to choose from. Thank you so much. Um, and nothing, you know, nothing too busy. I think throwing a little purple, maybe we could do like a more sparse design on that but what do you think Lynn? I love it. Uh, I just thought it would be fun just to do completely um, original ones. So there was lots of greens and there was lots of blues and purples but you can see that's what they've done here. This fabric has yellow and pink in it and then they go to pink and I think that's gonna make all the difference. Uh, there's something up there too but the other thing that's really good about this even though it's all one color here, you can see the detail. Yes. They didn't just stitch it out from nope. top to bottom. They did the pieces of it. So it still looks cool. What if you used fabric markers? You could. You could. I think just about anything will work on this. Nice dark green. Look at. Yep. Beautiful. So this is the stitching on it not the fabric so this there's they use the same fabric here i does that what do you call the, when it, the metallic thread mm -hmm. that's what that looks like right there i think that's variegated thread variegated Ooh, nice catch i didn't even pick up on that yeah they're all variegated thread look that one goes pink and then into white oh okay so if Does you want to use very change anything no it just adds to it okay. a lot actually because you get you can incorporate more colors so this is the perfect perfect design to do variegated thread and you know what i think they're all the same i think it's just one variegated thread um I I think so. Because look, yes, you're right, Lynn. Nice catch. Nice eye. The more I look at these, the more I get out of them, I tell you. I've just kind of had my eyeballs on it. and Second I'm like, set of eyes. Yeah. So variegated thread, ladies. I think it would be great. Multiple color stops if you want a few different colors instead of variegated. Yeah, you can do that too. So it would, you know, do this row and maybe back and then you change again. Okay. Um, I do love the idea of variegated thread, okay, though. Okay, so if you're going to change, like, two or three colors, can you, can you have it stop in, like, say, half of the row and then change it and then do the other? You could if you, you could. wanted. That's a lot of... But you'd have to be right there watching it, right? Because you can just stop the machine at any time. Okay. And because it's a single needle, you can just stop the machine at any time. And then you could re-thread back up a little bit. Okay. Um, oh. You can do that. Okay. It doesn't have a tie-in, though, so we wouldn't want it to come undone. But, yes, everyone is asking. It's ready, set, sew. All <laughs> access such starter kit. 
Twelve dollars? Well, you get this whole set, don't you? See, that is gorgeous, too. I think you have that... This. Applique. Oh, the fabric. Yep. I do think you're right. Mm. I purchased a bunch of variegated threads after I did one of Anita Good's uh, landscape bags. Absolutely gorgeous designs. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. This is one I've just looked at and I just think it's stunning. But it's partially because of the variegated thread and partially because of the fabric. Yeah, this one. I had that, that color, I think. The pinks and the blues and the grays. A big old elephant. I think this will be a lot of fun to do. And we'll do a few of the blocks and change it up. We're obviously not going to do all of them. They're going to take considerable time to do. How are we doing, when, when McDreamy? When you get the book, you get the designs with it, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're telling you all the stitches for it. Right here. So everything on the de disc. I actually haven't even looked. So this is what we're doing now. So this is on it. Um, spooky Halloween faces. So yeah, not all of them are applique. Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers That's Creepers. Really this is the whole set now. I like that one. No, I love that one. He is a scary looking tree. And, and this I is what we're doing now. I never realized until you mentioned it last time that he's got a nose or uh, two eyes and a, and a mouth. It's a little bit hard to see. I like this guy too. I was kind of torn between this guy and that guy. But then I saw brains. So I'm like, well, yeah. I don't like him. He has lipstick on. And I didn't think he was scary yeah. enough. But it's, uh, well, I could hear that. It's, they're nice designs and they're just there and we were close to Halloween. So I'm pretty sure that the design sets that they show in here are what you get in it. There we go. Yesterday when my girlfriend and I were watching, she noticed that the two eyes, the nose and the mouth on your on your needle yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fun. McDreamy's always smiling at it, everyone. This is a lovely technique. I'd like to explore that maybe in the middle of winter. Um, raw edge applique cutting. And the way they want you to do it is to leave some. Okay. That's the style of this one. So, um, raw edge flowers, Jeepers Creepers. We've had fun with that. A couple of sun catchers, but I don't have the right yes, for. The uh, it'll there'll be a PDF for it. No. Yeah, the, the, they always always include instructions. These are so pretty. Now those are just regular stitching. Yeah, straight stitching. Yeah, no applique or anything like that. Stay hungry. All right. Okay, so most of it's done there. Everyone having a good time, Don, in the chat? We're yep. good? They're, they're all talking about it. Uh, they're thinking about picking it up. Yeah, it's, I think it's a great value. But no, you don't, if you're just downloading it you won't get the actual book i got this years ago um but you will get a pdf with all the instructions and that goes for any designs that you download from anita good design they give you very 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 thorough instructions um which helps a lot i like this i like the different spacing in the toast. Ooh, that would take forever. Eh, it depends how big it is. Uh, it's 20,000 stitches, so half an hour or so. So let's go back to where we were because I was enjoying it. There's lots to do in here. I have that one. That's pretty. Yeah. It is two by two squares with to see this one in person at Anita Good Design, it's fantastic. They all, each have icons on it. 
the little butterfly thingies and they're only like that big. Nice. Oh yeah, it's amazing. So these are just samples. New to embroidery, that's okay. That won't last long here. I know. So, transferring to a USB. They tell you everything. One eye's done, I hear it. Look, they give you information about scissors. How is the pricing for dime thread? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully someone in the US can explain that. Oh yeah, how to do different things. Cut work. Needles. It's like all the information. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. All the information you need is right here. Stitch picker. <laughs> Seam ripper. Stitch picker. One of my favorite sets. Oh, nice. Free motion. That's kind of what I did in the background. So, landscape quilting. I know, I love that one. And how to put things together properly, yeah. which is cool. You're asking the difference between crayon and polyester. Uh, I mostly use polyester. There, There is a difference. Uh, I have a ton of polyester. I think rayon, oh, I have that one too. I think rayon runs more or fades more or something. People seem to have a definite preference for one or the other. But I use polyester just because that's what I have. All right, so more about that. These are all the designs. So if you guys haven't noticed, a lot of these bigger packs, design packs, I think the autumn, I'm not sure about the Christmas, but they are on sale right now at Anita Good Design for a whopping 75% off. Oh, wow, that's a great deal. Yeah, they work out to be about $25. So, so this is the digitizers, how they do it. Oh, I love this. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty. The artists and how they put it together. Taylor! So, wait till you see our most exciting landscape collection yet. Whew! I can't wait. This is always my favorite part in any of the, the monthly books is anatomy of the design where they explain different things like details about right. the design. And then look, all, even if you're watching it and um, looking at it in a PDF, you still get all the information. So these are the ones included. I kind of like the oranges too. That is cool. That's a cactus. Yeah. It is going to be nearly impossible to figure out. Which one to do. I know. I know. Oh, see, that's so beautiful. That one. Wow. These are all the steps. One, two, three, all the Almost different looks colors. Almost like a weeping willow tree. Almost. Hello. Ooh, We're on our last eyes. color. Yeah, long, long split satin stitches. Whoops. Bloop. So, nice and bright. I kind of think the green is too bright. Oh, woo. no. No? No. Woo. It kind of just, woo. I think it's good. I think it's awesome. I, I'm not looking at it in person. I'm it, on TV yeah. on I like the weird mouth background. I think that's cool. And the yellow teeth. <laughs> And the red, but he's he looks like it's oh, wow. oh yeah, I know it might be a bit bright. It's not, bright. It's not that bright on the on screen. Oh, well, <laughs> they don't know what I'm talking about then. It's um, the green is Madeira neon, just a small spool of it, in case anyone's wondering. It's right here, Madeira, the number. It's a heck of a number. No, it's a heck of a color. 1599 is the color. And it's poly neon. So, oh, it's neon. Oh, it's neon. It's, yeah. So, that's gorgeous, too. So is that. Butterflies. Awesome. I always say redacted. <laughs> Sashing, but they're just the okay. blocks. Redacted, like it's an important thing. 
So Anita's Express, um, the definition of it is 40 to 90 minute projects. So Anita's Express is lovely. I saw someone stitched out this one in the group and it's gorgeous. Now, think outside the box. You don't have to make pillows with it just because they show that. Right. This is nice light stitching. You could do it on a shirt or anything that you can come up with. See, aren't they cute? They're pretty. I know. Great use for the metallic thread that we love so much. I love that. Yeah, Happy. So she likes to go in the dark thread for Halloween stuff. But be careful pressing. It has a lower mounting point. Ask me how I know. <laughs> oh, did you oh. melt your design? Oh, we're supposed to ask. And how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I already know. I've done it. Everybody has to do that once. When you are ironing embroidery, if you put the iron raid on it, chances are you're going to melt the thread. It's polyester, right? You okay. can melt polyester. So you need to put a cloth over it or turn it around. Ah. And if it has a lower melting point, yes. Um, yeah, I think everyone's done it once and we never do it again. These are so pretty. So it's my turn to do it? You haven't done it yet. No. Just use your own iron. Because it makes a mess of the iron with all the plastic goop stuck oh. to it. Yeah. I told you it's not fun. It happens. I really like this guy. And it's a mixture of gold and silver. So oh, it's a snowman. if you wanted to kick it up a little bit, this is the one that they did. I love designs that are made out of other things. The word ones that Anita Good Design does is fantastic. But you could use different colored thread Ooh. and make it brighter. I think it looks spectacular in the gold and silver, but oh, see, all I see is this. I see a snake. Uh, yeah. Um, yes, I did too. So hoop it. Stitch it, finish it. Um, it's just a straight mind. stitch thing. But then, Anita Good Design being Anita Good Design, they show you how to make the pillow. Because I wouldn't know how to make a pillow. They went the extra step. They always do. Yes, they always do. So this is another one. Embroidery. They used to have embroidery parties all the time. Long time really? ago. Yeah. Um, they still have workshops, but this is one of their ones. So this is background quilting here. This is called basically crazy quilting. So it's an old, old, old technique where they used scraps and they stitched them together to make crazy okay. quilt blankets. And then, you know, with a little tiny piece of thread, right. they do something. It, one of my favorite things. See background quilting? See, I think it's cool. It's awesome. And it has words in it. Oh, cool. Chef. All right. Oh, one more. We've got to do his nose. We've just got to outline his nose. His eyes are quite spectacular. That is a cute design as well. Yes, I like that one. And this is cool. You can see there's two different colors of satin stitches there. These will be fun to do. Let me show you how to do it. Just applique. You know how to do applique. I do. Isabel, thank you very much, Isabel. So we'll have to do a couple of quilt blocks. All this is finished in the hoop, by oh, the way. No even way. even the outsides of it, yeah. See, you take the fabric and you fold it and you do it in the right order, top to bottom, side to side, trim it sew it just inside that line and you are done wow is that perfect fabric or what wow is that cute these are nice actually so are these i think we're done nope no I'm gonna do his pupil pupil well you could just see his face just <laughs> now i'm gonna oh that'll be clunky because it's going over the satin stitches so that could be a quilt square. Yeah, they're really cute. You could put them all together. I think that would be cute for like a table runner. Yes. Coffee. Coffee <gasps> is love. 
All right, the happy music from my favorite guy. And this is what we have. <laughs> I, I, I think this, the mouth thing is, is weird, but I like it. So, Lynn, <laughs> let's see. This is the problem. You see how you can... Oh, I can see the Can black. you see it? Yeah. And that's why you try not to make satin. Satin stitches, like, a little bit wider like this are nice, but too wide that you heard the machine heaving. That's why. Okay, now head on. You can see the brightness of the green. I... I... <laughs> whew, I had no idea that green... That's the first time I've actually used it. Um... But I like them. Oh, you I know what? Them. I, I, mean, I like the yellow. The spider, but it didn't look that green. It didn't look that terrible. Terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 green. I wanted green, and green is what I got. So awesome. Um, it's bright. It's bright. It's bright. Though. I know. I know. It's really bright. What do you guys think? The design is really nice. And you know what? It's actually kind of nice that this isn't an applique either. Yes. I don't think it matters a no, whole lot. It looks good that way. It just caught me off guard. Yeah. Yeah. And this, I mean, why not? He is going to go with my scarecrow. He's Where's underneath my... the book, I believe. Oh. Oh. My bad. Yeah. I wanted to kind of bring it together because Ooh. we have the green there and then we have the checkers there. Yeah. Kind yes. of the same colors. I kind of like it. Yes. But see, the green here doesn't look as shocking as the green no. here. Isn't that interesting? Just because, a little bit yep. compared to a lot. I love it. And like the neon green, it's spooky. It's perfect. They love it. I am going to sew these two together and make something out of it. I don't know what yet, but they are cute. I mean, it's yep. a cute design to stitch. This was my experiment. The background stitches, they turned out way better than the echo yes. stitches. Yes. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. That's awesome. So thanks everyone for watching. Welcome all the new people. You just did your first live with the OML gang. That's what we call ourselves, apparently. Look at the sticker, which also has green in it, neon green. Yep. Um, and Wednesdays are digitizing days. Saturday, we'll be doing the door. And Sunday, we'll be finishing the sweet pea. And then we'll be starting on the landscape fabrics. So lots to lots to do we're always busy yes. so thanks everyone for watching i hope you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe if you're new give the video a like and share with your embroidery friends and i'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone bye, bye.